Hello everyone, and welcome to our first ever ASMR Patch Notes with Yuli. Today, we're going to take a look together at patch 11.16, and we will start right off with the first champion on the list. Diana has recently become a popular jungle pick, and a powerful one at that, especially in competitive play. She's a little bit too strong, and therefore receiving a nerf, targeting her jungle clear speed, where her passive Moon Silver Blade now deals less damage to non-epic monsters. Fiora has been on the strong side for a while, especially in higher levels of play. This patch, Riot Games is bringing down her split pushing power by increasing her E ability's cooldown. Jarvan has not been excelling at any level of play and is receiving a much needed buff. Starting with this patch, this ultimate cataclysm will have its bonus damage scaling increased and his passive damage has also been increased. Jin has been feeling rather lackluster compared to other marksmen and is getting his W damage increased at all ranks. Additionally, the minimum AD scaling of his ultimate is going up. Karma has been stronger in coordinated play than in solo queue for a while. To address this, she's getting bigger changes this patch. Karma's basic attacks against enemy champions no longer reduce her ultimate's cooldown. However, hitting her abilities will now regenerate her ultimate faster early to mid game compared to before. Riot Games is targeting her early game pressure and wave clear by lowering her Q's base damage and raising its cooldown at earlier ranks. To balance out this nerf, her Q now costs less mana and has a shorter cooldown at later stages of the game. Also, her Mantra Q is getting a big damage buff on the first hit. Her E's shield is now stronger mid to late game, but will grant less movement speed. Her Mantra E now grants a lot less movement speed to the surrounding allies of her initial target. Lee Sin is getting his W's Omnivamp nerfed at all ranks to curb his dueling power. Lulu is getting the cooldowns of her W and ultimate increased to make her less of a frustrating champion to play against, especially at higher levels of play. Maokai is getting his sustain increased through stronger passive heal on his E to help tank Maokai in the top lane. However, AP Maokai in the bot lane was a little too powerful and got the detonation damage of his sapling slightly lowered. Nunu is getting his movement speed nerf from patch 11.2 reverted. Also, he will be rewarded for building more aggressively with higher scalings on his E starting with this patch. When it comes to Shaco, Enemies can no longer see the orange smoke effect when he uses his Q from the Fog of War. Additionally, he is getting some bug fixes to his ultimate. Sivir was not feeling strong enough, which is why her W damage scalings are getting buffed at all ranks, and are now considerably bigger late game. Sona has received a rework this patch. She has a new passive, Accelerando where her basic abilities grant her permanent accelerando stacks. With each stack, she gains ability haste on her normal abilities, up to a total of 60 ability haste. Once she reaches that 60 ability haste, she will start to reduce her ultimate's current cooldown every time she would gain a stack. Each Q bolt that hits an enemy champion will now grant her a stack. Same goes for healing injured allies, or preventing them from being damaged with her W. Sona's regular skills no longer refund mana on cast, and to compensate for this, their overall mana cost has been lowered. Sona's ultimate no longer reduces her other abilities cooldowns, but can now hit minions and monsters in addition to champions. Tom Kench passive's damage got lowered in the early stages of the game to make him less of a bully in the top lane. On top of this, the base healing he receives from his Q got an overall nerf. 
to help Vladimir hold his own in the top lane, Wright is increasing his passives bonuses. Both his AP to bonus health and bonus health to AP conversions have been increased this patch. This opens up more possibilities for Vlad players to try tankier builds and reap their benefits. Xin Zhao's base attack damage got lowered. This will still leave him strong early, but he won't overwhelm other junglers as easily anymore. Zix is getting his base mana increased. His E's base damage per mine got decreased early, but increased later. Additionally, his E will slow less in the early to mid game. And now, let's take a look at the item changes. The first item on the list is Dark Seal. Dark Seal is meant to be a high risk, high reward item, but has become a consistent high value option for AP users. To increase the risk of buying this item, its AP per stack got lowered, and you will lose more stacks when you die. Redemption has been overshadowed by other enchanter items and struggled to find its niche this season. Riot is increasing the strength of Redemption's heal and reducing its cooldown so that it can be more effective in more teamfights. And last but not least, we have ranked updates. A third Q dodge penalty has been added. Players that dodge 3 times in a 24 hour period will lose 10 LP and be locked out of all MOBA modes for 12 hours. There's a new social leaderboard where you can see how you stack up against your friends in ranked. And lastly, there are changes to flex queue, where masters and above players in flex can no longer queue with other flex players below platinum. And that is it for today's ASMR patch notes. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next patch.